Hi, I'm James from Spares Direct, and in this video, we're going to be teaching you how to replace the grill element in an electric built in oven. Okay, if your grill is not heating, um, then it's probably your element that's at fault, and we can replace this in a few simple steps. Um, in this video, we're going to be working on an Indesit FM20 KC, but the process is almost identical for all built in electric ovens. So you can check the correct element for your oven at sparesdirect.com. Okay, first of all, we're gonna remove the oven from the kitchen units um, as we're gonna to need to get to the rear of the oven. Okay, to do this, we need to open the door and you'll be able to see two or four screws located in the edge of the oven. And next, we're gonna to need to remove the door. To do that, there's two clasps on one on each hinge. Turn them to the open position, and as the door closes, okay, and we need to also remove the shelves. <clears throat> Next, we're gonna need to remove the back panel of the oven. Um, as the bracket that holds the element in place um, is accessed from the rear. This is held on with four cross head screws. You'll notice that the element is wired um, with two wires on either side of the element. Um, at this point, we always recommend making a note or taking a photo of how the wires are configured. Just makes replacing the new element much easier. Okay, these spade connectors, electrical connectors, should just clip off. If they're a little bit stiff on your oven, then you can use some pliers, but always only pull the connector, and not the wire itself. Next, we need to undo the screws that hold the bracket in place. Okay, with the screws undone, the element should just slide out. As you can see, that one's fairly well used. Okay, new element. <clears throat> should look something like this. And should just slide back in. Through the same holes like that. <clears throat> Okay, we now need to remount the oven with the two screws and the brackets. Okay, and once those screws are tight, we need to reattach the electrical wires. Okay, so we're gonna consult our picture that we took earlier, or the note that we made, and we just clip these back on where we found them. Just double check that. Okay, and next we need to replace the back panel. <clears throat> Slot it in place. And reattach the screws.
Okay, and now all we need to do is replace the shelves. So as you probably know, just slide in and out. And reattach the door. Okay, to do that, align the hinges with the mounting, slot them in place, and as you carefully open the door, you should be able to fold both the locking clasps back to the closed position. Okay, that's one change grill element on an electric built-in oven. Um, you can check which grill element suits your oven at sparesdirect.com. Thanks for watching.